decided to do another video right after the last one. And right, we have just more of the A section. This is the new adolescence record. This one is on red vinyl. And I'm not going to, you know what, from now on, I'm, I'm not going to open these up if they're new. So that if you want to know what's on the inside or what the vinyl looks like, you'll have to buy it. Hopefully that'll encourage people to buy these records. Because, um, like I said, most of the bands that I support, boy, they're really poor. Um, they don't have much money, so they could use a few bucks. Um, this is the blue colored vinyl of the same record of the adolescence, and this one is good. This is, a, this is an excellent record. And it's called Crop Duster. And it's worth the money just for the cover alone. Alrighty, and here's a 10-inch record by the Adolescents, and this is um, set lists and a little flyer from a show that I went to where the Adolescents were playing, and this one's pretty good. And this one is the Almighty. Um, this is the one of the greatest records ever made. And this is the European one that has three extra tracks. And the extra tracks that this thing has are just taken from this thing. So this, this record doesn't have anything that is exclusive to this record. And like I said, um, on the back here, newspaper clippings from um, write-ups that the Las Vegas newspaper did when the adolescents played in God, where did they play? They played at the Roadhouse in Las Vegas. A long time ago. Anyway, it was a great show. Again, buy this record. Yes, there's that, that's almost an order. You got to have this thing. Here's another adolescence record. Half of it is horrible. The other half is the best you've ever heard. I, I don't know how they pulled that off. But this is the OC Confidential record. And again, it's half of it is just horrible. And then the other half, you can't stop listening to. It's a kind of a strange release. And this is the fastest Kid Alive record, and it's okay. Let's put it this way. This is not worth a $20 bill. It's worth a 10 And this is the Manifest Destiny one. This is a second to the newest, and it, it, it's okay. This one is the um, red vinyl, and I, I pre-ordered it from Germany. And it's, it's got a warp in it. So sometimes the um, records in the mail come with a warp, and there's just nothing you can do about it. You're kind of stuck with it, especially if it came all the way from Germany because it would cost more than the record's worth to send it back. Anyway, this is a good one. Um, the record um, jacket's really neat. Here's another of the adolescence, I guess, newer records, and it, it's okay. You know, it's worth like ten or twelve dollars. Not any more than ten or twelve dollars. But since these, the the since the newer ones are imports, they're just gonna cost over twenty. And that's too bad because they're really not worth over twenty. Here's an EP, American Dogs in Europe. This one has got some songs from. Um, 
I think the previous one, and a couple of new ones, and it's really good. If you see this one, buy it. Even if it's 20 bucks, go ahead and buy it. This one's good, even though it's an EP and it only has four songs. Okay, and here's another new adolescence record. Geez, they were, for a while there, they were putting out records as if they were Husker Du in the early 80s. And this one's pretty good. And I think the album cover has to do with something about a homeless guy being beat to death by a police officer somewhere in Southern California. Okay, here's an all record, which is a, um, a descendant of the descendants. And this one's okay. It's like melodic pop punk. Here's another all record that's really good. This is a 1998 release. So yeah, this one's worth buying. This one is worth buying. This is the 2000 release. Yeah, this one's worth buying just for the album cover. And this is a 1988 release, and it's just two songs, and it's it's okay if you see it for a dollar. You know, if you see this for a dollar, it's okay. And this is the record that was out the very first time I seen them in 1989 in Las Vegas at a place called Tex-Mex. And this one's okay. It's, it's got some good songs on it. It's worth picking up for 10 bucks. Here's the single of She's My Ex. And then on the flip side is a song called Crazy, and this is worth about $2. Okay, here we are getting to the good stuff. This is the Alice Donut Picture Disc. And this is really crazy sounding. They get into like thrash metal on this thing. And it's from MVD Audio. And I don't even know the name of this thing. Just Alice Donut Picture Disc. And Alice Donut is a band that um, words can't describe how good they are. Here's another one that is ext it's extremely good. I wouldn't be without this thing. And here's the newest Alice Donut record, and it is not very good. There's two good songs on this thing, and that's it. It's just not very good. I really wouldn't suggest buying this Alice Donut record, but a lot of these records I bought without even hearing them. I just saw the name Alice Donut, and I bought. Here's Pure Acid Park. This one has got like three great songs, and then the rest are just, I don't know, not, not that good. All right, here is Alice Donut, and this is a live album. This one is a very, very, <laughs> this thing is very good. This is, even if you got to pay 20 bucks for this thing, it's a double album, it's a full show, um, and it, it's worth it.
and here's another Alice Donut record. And this one is called Bucket Buckets of Sickness. Yeah, Bucketfuls of Sickness. This one is the best. Well, actually, it's not the best. We're, we're coming to the best Alice Donut record. But this one is definitely worth a $20 bill if you see it. And here's the famous mule, which it's pretty good. It, it's not as good as, I guess it's got a reputation of being, but I definitely wouldn't be without it. And I'm not even going to try to describe what Alice Donut sounds like. You should already know. Okay, and here's the untidy suicides record. This is close to a masterpiece. And it was this record that they were touring with the very first time I seen them and the only time that I seen them. And this one is pretty close to a masterpiece. Every song on it is something that you could listen to again and again and again. Okay, and this is an EP of the same song three times, and you know e each version of it is different, longer, and then it has uh, another little song on it, which is, it's okay. But this is just a complete Your Alastona collection. And the song that they do three versions of on this is really good. Okay, let's end this video with a masterpiece. This thing is so good. I, 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 words can't describe how good this record is. And it's this one. It's Alice Donut's very first record. Every song on it is unbelievable. I, I just... I, I don't know what to say about this thing. It's a perfect, perfect thing. Um, it's I would compare it to um, the Dead Kennedys, uh, Fresh, Fresh Fruit record, um, Black Flag Damaged, um, the Ramones first record. I would compare this thing to the Ramones first record. That's how good this thing is. And it's called Alice Donut Comes Alive. Okay, and that's another section of the A's. And, oh, geez, I got a lot of records to go through. Okay, but that's it for tonight. Thank you very much.